the impact is significant on the entire hotel, airlines, and tourism business. Uh, since the 10th of March, I would call it almost a washout uh, till, let's say, end of May or middle of May. In the middle of May, we started seeing some of the repatriation flights come in, as well as hosting of uh, medical staff in hotels. So we started seeing some green shoots, which uh, have started picking up uh, very strongly in June, but at a very low cost. Uh, when I say low cost, means the average achieved rates are, you know, like 20, 30 percent of what that normal rates would be, because these are regulated by the government. Um, however, uh, having hotels shut and zero percent occupancy is much worse than uh, than getting some business in. Having said that, on the negative front, I think the worst has been behind us because the last hundred days were maybe the toughest of which the first 50 were very, very difficult. Uh, the, the last 50, uh, as I said before, we started seeing some pickups. And I think going forward, the expectation is that the industry will open up as of 1st of July. Uh, four to five states already opened up as of 8th of June. But that's not enough. We need the opening up of big metros like Delhi and Mumbai. And that's where the strongest... Um, business segment is, which will take another three to four months to pick up. And actually, for the industry, especially on the domestic front, um, October to March is our real period of business. That's when we do 65 to 70 percent of our EBITDA. And I personally, I'm optimistic that uh, when we get close to September, October, we will be back to, you know, 60, 65 percent of the levels of last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Rosanna joining the conversation here and um, with regard to the domestic tourism recovery story in India how challenging have individual statewide restrictions been to working out how that works on a hotel by hotel basis? Rosanna, great question because it is really challenging. See India has a federal structure and there is a, a central directive and then every state uh, has a different directive. Uh, we try to work with each of these states to come up and comply with all the standards that are applicable um, at a national level, global level, WHO level, Ministry of Health level. But having said that, you know, a lot of delays had happened. I'll give you one example is the school examination of children. Now, that decision is expected to come today. After those exams are over, people will need uh, to travel. They will need to get away on a, on a school you know, post-school holidays with the families and the children. And we do feel that domestic tourism, not only in India, but globally following the impact of COVID-19, is going to lead charge. In India, it is very beneficial because, uh, you know, domestic tourism forms, or domestic demand forms 87% of our total demand. So I think it's highly critical that we get people, firstly, within the country, moving and then we give them the sense of security we give them the sense of safety and that we are ready to welcome our guests so i think uh, across all brands and across the industry that's the message we're trying to communicate